I trust your Excellency is pleased with our progress? That all depends on how far this sphere can help me see. Four hours, most assuredly. Uh, perhaps six, with a bit of luck. Only six hours? But I expressly requested eight. Every sphere is unique, Bishop. It is impossible to accurately predict how well this sphere will perform. I need at least eight hours. Eight hours, Master Crucible. See to it. Near this spot, loose and bottle blow, founder of the noble guild of glassmakers attained his final clarity. Welcome to Crystal Guard, stranger. I'm Master Goodmode, 31st in the noble guild of glassmakers. And who might you be? My name is Bobbin. Bobbin Threadbear of the, um, Noble Guild of Weavers. A weaver! Tell me, is it true that to peer beneath a weaver's hood brings instant agonizing death? I honestly don't know. Nobody's ever tried it with me. You have such a wonderful view of the sky here. Have you noticed a flock of swans flying this way? Swans? Swans. You know, birds. Yes, yes, swans! <laughs> no, I haven't heard of any swan sightings. Uh, look around to your heart's content, weaver threadbare. Hmm? And remember, if you break it, you buy it. <laughs> Soft shard, wife of loose and bottle blow, here attain final clarity. Near this spot, loose and bottle blow, founder of the noble guild of glassmakers attained his final clarity. going on up there? Huh. A glass bell. I wonder what will happen if... I'm dizzy. That's 
beautiful. I've never seen anything sparkle like that. Not even the long tapestry. What kind of glass is it? Now that chalice you so irreverently filled was carved from a single diamond crystal. But I thought you were glass makers. No, we are, we are. A dear boy, this is none other than the famous Chromax conundrum, wrought by our distinguished founder, Lucent Bottleblow. His works once filled an entire museum, you know. And that was before the great dragon arrived in 7342. She blew through this city like a torch, melting and breaking our finest works, plundering our museums and treasuries until we had almost nothing left. It was awful, just terrible, really a miserable time. Uh, even Bottleblow's greatest masterpiece, the first scrying sphere, was lost forever. But you still have the conundrum. And a lucky thing, too. It was on loan to the Guild of Vintners at the time. It is the sole remaining example of our Founder's transcendent genius. But I'm still curious. Why is it diamond instead of glass? We've no idea. No idea at all. That's the conundrum, you see.